I'm not going to recap really what was said yesterday. I think we all um, had a fantastic afternoon getting to grips with this big, complex, and really intransigent issue. What I want to show you is I, uh, we had a visit from in our offices from uh, Pad Machetti and Dennis Carroll from USAID a few months ago. We were talking about this convergence between NCDs and EIDs, and Dennis, in his usual way, said, well, what's it going to look like in 20 years, 30 years? Is it going to get better? Uh, you know, because there's this global push for um, improved health care. People are getting wealthier. Uh, lower middle income countries are rising up. So surely this problem should start to go away. So we, we tried our best to find ways to analyze potential future scenarios. And I just want to show you what we came up with. And this is work by Emma Nicholson from Eco Health Alliance who's and Noam Ross, so Emma's here in the, in the room. So we looked at um, groups of countries and tried to put them together um, in, in future trends from uh, global burden of health data, the B global burden of health project at University of Washington. Um, and then, and what we came up with is, you can see there are some, there are many countries that have got a high NCD burden and the future projections these are the top ones, say that it's going to get worse. There are some that are moderate, and it's get it, going to get worse over the next 20 years. And actually, there are, there are a few, mainly in uh, the, the richer countries, that have a low burden already and have a steady future um, or improving future. But uh, overall, um, the, the future scenario for NCDs is not good, uh, surprisingly. Um, and if you look at this on a map, you can sort of get a visualization of where countries are going to um, get worse and where countries are going to stay the same and the few countries that are going to get better. So the top two colors, pink, red, are high burdens, moderate burdens of NCDs, and they're going to get worse over the next 20 years. Um, the blue countries, which is the majority, have a moderate NCD burden relatively, and, and it's, it says steady, but that's not a good thing. That means it's going to stay with a, with a moderate burden for the next 20 years. Now, what's interesting is if we look at those countries and pull them out, the ones with black dots are the top 10 emerging infectious disease risk. We've run projections for future risk of new emerging diseases, um, and usually driven by things like population growth, um, land use change, um, other environmental issues in areas with high wildlife biodiversity. So these are novel zoonotic diseases. So the top 10 countries already have a moderate burden of NCDs, which is not good. And the next 20 years, it's not going to get much better. It's going to stay steady, or it's going to slightly improve. And if you look at the emerging disease threat, it's actually rising exponentially. So we are going to see a convergence over the next 20 years. And dealing with this now and getting to grips with it now is going to be critically important. Um, and that's just the top 10. There are many, many other countries with high risk of um, new emerging diseases in the background of other infectious diseases, in a background of neglected tropical diseases. So this threat is real. It's, it's going to grow. Um, and in a few cases, especially countries with very low, very high burden already, there is going to be some slight improvement. But overall, the situation is not projected to be great in the future. So dealing with this now is a very critical issue. So I want to open up to the first session for today, where we're going to try and act. And it, I, I love this blind man and the elephant metaphor. The elephant, in this case, is absolutely enormous. In fact, there may be many of them, um, and we're still blind. So um, I'm going to open up to the f uh, for the first moderator to come up, please, and get the session going. <laughs>